All right, hi everybody. This is the Math 20-1 Trigonometry Review, and this is question 32a. I gotta find the side x. Now, take a quick look at the information that you're given here. I'm giving two, okay, actually, you should look at more like this. Look at the angle that we're given, and notice that you don't know the side opposite that, which means the sine law does not apply here. The sine law doesn't work, which leaves you only one option. This must be the cosine law, okay? So now, uh, what we might do is we might label this so that we can use the cosine law. So maybe make this A, B, C, which means this right here will be little c, this will be little b, and it's little a that I'm looking for. So my equation will be, okay, a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of a, and I'll just plug everything in. So that's going to be 20 squared uh, plus 25, oh, sorry, <laughs> Instantly, I did that backwards. It doesn't really matter, but just to be consistent. So it's going to be 25 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 25 times 20 times the cosine of 30 degrees. Now, to get A, I will eventually end up taking the square root of that whole thing. Okay? So I'm just going to do that all in one step. And I'm actually going to do that in one step on the calculator as well. I'm just going to include this, the square root when I do that. So it'll be the square root of 25 squared uh, plus 20 squared minus 2 times 25 times 20 times the cosine of 30 degrees. And it turns out this is 12.6. Now let's just make sure that that makes sense. Okay. Because when you plug 12.6 into this, now given given the angles that we've got here, uh, just even look, a quick look at the graph here makes it look like this is the smallest angle, which means this would be the smallest side. And yeah, that looks that looks fairly consistent with what I was getting there. So the answer is 12.6.